Bobby and I are fixing to share the easiest recipe in the whole entire world, y'all. Uh, you can't get any simpler than this, can you? It's pretty easy. We got four boneless pork chops. And you know, sometimes pork chops, if especially if they're uh, away from the bone, I will stop and tell y'all this. So if you're ever in Paula Dean's family kitchen, order the pork chops. They are out of this world. You could cut them with a fork. All right, I so, love a pork chop. Oh, listen, the pork chops in that restaurant are like no other. Mm -hmm. They're out of this world. Mm -hmm. right. All right, so, you know, you can uh, tenderize these. Might not be a bad idea. That's a great little piece of equipment that you got. Yes, there. this is this is a nice piece of equipment. You can show everybody how it works. Mm -hmm. uh, I mean, you can beat them to a pulp. With this, yeah, you, but, or you could use a you could use a mallet, you know, yeah, a meat yeah. mallet. But this is, you know, this is a little bit more professional, mm -hmm. yeah. you know, that chefs would use. So I I did two of them, Bobby. I can't remember which two I did. Yeah. So it kind of takes a heavy so hand. So we're just gonna tenderize them, and uh -huh. uh, this has just got some sharp steaks in it, uh -huh. metal steaks that are just uh -huh. gonna go right through, and uh -huh. they're gonna. Poke some little toothpick sized holes in the chop. Because yeah. pork chops are great, but they can be, you know, they can be tough. And truly, yeah, these are like the other white meat, Bobby. Uh, mm, you, you somebody should see, make a commercial. Yeah, I know it. <laughs> you see there's very, very little uh, fat on them. I, I love them that way, they're super lean. And, but I like I like some fat on my pork chops. Only problem, with, only problem is I can eat all of them. And you know what, you know what would be really good? Is what? take some of those okra cakes that you made earlier and maybe Use them as the bread. Don't make me. Don't sandwich. make me slap you. With a little mayonnaise. Don't make me With slap you. With a little mayonnaise. Oh, Bobby, that would be so would be so good. I'm never ever so gonna eat that. I'm never gonna eat wonderful. that. Wonderful. Oh. But the chops, I could eat all. Now of I'll I'll think of that until uh. <laughs> Until you do it in about 10 minutes. Cause, oh, I do cause it. The hoe cakes are right over yeah, there. Yeah, so I got and hoe cakes. Hot and delicious. Yes. All right, so we're so going to we set up are a, taking, a mm -hmm. little dredging station. I'm uh -huh. sorry to interrupt you, excuse me. So uh -huh. we're going to set up a little dredging station. I'm beating two eggs, and Mom is um, is emptying out two packs of, uh, is that just like an onion mix? Like a, yes. A onion and soup mix? And why is the panko out here? I can't remember. Because you're dredging the breadcrumbs. Oh, after this? Mm -hmm. After the onion soup? Yes, ma'am. Oh. Mm -hmm. See, it's so easy I forgot. That's <laughs> okay. It's so easy, I forgot how to do it. All right, so our eggs are right. beaten. Mm-hmm. So you're gonna just drop them in your egg, Bobby. And then into your onion soup mix. And you just wanna make sure that's mixed around. And then let that kinda, yeah, let it kinda drip off. Okay. And then what about our breadcrumb? Uh, I'm going to do that. Oh, excuse me. Sure. I'm going to breadcrumb them when we... You're just going to pour the breadcrumbs on or no, you got to run uh -uh. them through? When we're through with this, I'll put the breadcrumbs in here and then run them through again. Okay. These are just great little chops. I mean, they are. And, and you, you could know, cook just them. one is a good serving. Mm -hmm. um, I do these. You can, I do them in my uh, air fryer uh -huh. from time to time. Oh, my gosh. Or in a cast iron skillet. They're uh -huh. real good on yeah. the stove top on a cast iron, in a cast iron skillet. Or on the grill, they're good. Yeah, yeah. But I find cast iron really is just fits the bill for oh, cast a iron lot of proteins. Just unbeatable, Bobby. Mm -hmm. It just takes you know you got to care for it. But that's so easy once you get it seasoned. Yeah, yeah it is. A lot of people don't know that, but yes, uh, it's is. simple. You just the thing you want to avoid is the rust. You know, yeah. And people people use soap on their cast iron too and yeah. then they go well, what happened yeah <laughs> or they'll you know what one thing they'll do bobby tell me what is leave do. it sitting in water to soak Ooh. and that's like the kiss of death that is the wrong you know to do. let it sit overnight yeah you don't want your cast iron to you definitely don't want it sitting overnight but yeah one thing that i do with my cast iron is well i never use soap on it um, I, I just, yeah, I use just real hot water. Hot water, cast iron is porous, so it'll take on uh -huh. the flavors of whatever you put in it. So soap is a big no-no with cast iron. But one of, one of so, the tricks, son, is putting it on your stove. And so, as I was about to say, uh -huh. after I finish washing my cast iron, because I do use uh -huh. water on it, uh -huh. and, and I'll right. use like an SOS pad or right. something like that, and yeah, get everything it's out of it. Yeah, real stubborn. And, uh, 
and it'll be wet and I'll dry mm -hmm. it with a towel. But then to make extra sure that there's no uh, leftover moisture of any kind, I'll throw it on the stove top and, and turn it on, you know, like on medium, just for a few minutes to make yeah. sure that it gets nice and dry. So that's it. That's all you got to do. Okay. So you got, that's you know you got pinko good. out here, right? I know, but I thought I had some open, <laughs> but I mm. don't. There's, there, those, all those pinkos down there are seasoned. Now mm. you see why I don't open. Now I see why you, yes. Because you knew I might change. All right, so I'm just gonna put our pinko in there. Mm -hmm. And then I'm gonna take these back and I'm gonna just mash them. Just mash them into that pinko. Your panko's gonna give them a nice little oh, crunchy gosh. brown. I just love, I'm gonna put some on top of it. It's just magic. Panko mm -hmm. is one of those just magic. I ones. love it. I love it too. You know they what? They look good already. I know it. You know what? Oh, I'm, what you gonna do? I'm, I'm just gonna spray that a little. Oh, come on. <laughs> <laughs> With a butterfly. Why are you doing it? So that panko will stick. Mm. I don't think it made any difference, so Bobby. I don't think it did either. I okay. would think that it would not stick. But I would bust my. <laughs> wouldn't, that, wouldn't that be the Wouldn't that be the result? Yes. Would be non-stick. It, it didn't help. <laughs> but you know, I'd bust my gut till I tried it. <laughs> you did give it a little little butter flavor though. Mm-hmm. Yep, that one pork chop's gonna be buttery. Be buttery. Uh-huh, don't be butter I'm waiting flavored. on you to pull out the actual butter. Some good soft butter and just no, rub it on I'm there. No, I'm actually not. Mmm. <laughs> that onion soup is gonna make this real it smells good. smells so good. Mmm. Smells so good. I hate that we're gonna have a little bit of waste here. I got the leftover egg that I dredged them in. And... <laughs> well, you can just drink it. <laughs> Don't you, you're such a help nut, don't you? Uh, I'll pass on that. Today. Don't don't you drink raw eggs for breakfast? All the time. <laughs> all the time. I would. That's why I'm not these right now. I would vomit if I saw you do that. I would vomit. You, you, well, you don't have to worry about say vomit again. <laughs> you, don't have, you, don't, you don't have to worry about it because you'll never ever see me do that. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna bake these at uh -huh. 400 degrees. What do you think? Uh, uh, 400 degrees, right? No, I don't. So I don't know. It I is 400 degrees. It is 400. Okay, 400 degrees for 10 minutes. Ooh, that's all? Yep, and then uh -huh. flip them. And then we flip them. Oh, okay. And cook them for 10 more minutes. It'll be a fast 10 minutes. Ooh, and then you're you gonna, gonna make, be amazed. Then you're gonna make you a pork chop hoe cake sandwich. Hush, don't say it. Don't get my mind to go in there. Okay. Um, Let me just watch you. I'm not gonna eat any. I gotta go to you the gonna gym. watch me clog my arteries? I gotta go to the gym. While your fat mother stays here and sucks up a pound of grease. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Ooh, we do. Oof, and they uh -oh. look so good too. They do look good. So you know what? Flip them over and, and have... cook them for another ten minutes. Yes, I had that. They got a little brown because I had it on uh, more than four hundred. No. I got, but I had it on uh, convection. convection. Mm. <laughs> so that's all right. Everybody makes mistakes. That's right. So I'm going to fix my mistake by getting it off of that. And I'm going to. Paula, what's it, why, what is the black convection? It well, it goes, to the, it goes to the hot air, Teresa, mm -hmm. on top of the hot just the, the heat. And that's what a convection oven is. I was going to say, because I have convection and I've <laughs> It goes on the it. hot air to the I heat. I don't know what to do. Yeah, I it mean, it, the it's, hot air, it's the hot heat. air. And it circulates. As well as, ooh, those look so good. Purple. You know, it's just a much hotter. So it cooks faster. Like this oven right there. If the recipe calls for 350, you cook it on... 300. Yeah. Let's turn it on. 300. Because it's actually 50 degrees higher. Hot when it's just turned off. Uh-huh. <laughs> it's still cooking. <laughs> All right. Well, I that's a on. commercial. That's, you'd find that in a restaurant. All right, smart boy. Put those back in the oven. <laughs> well, you make it so easy. I know. So I just... Oh, it's a convection oven. Well, it's the hot air. 
there and it goes from the hot onto the heat. Zappos. I'm learning people's stuff. <laughs> <laughs> so 10 more minutes. They already smell real good they though. They do. And the French onion uh, soup mix. Yeah. That's a nice touch. That, yeah, I smell, it, it is. smells so good. It got a little brown when I fell off of it. I but it. I turned it off for convection. Mm -hmm. It's on 400. Uh -huh, it's on 400. We've got about 10 more minutes and then we'll be 10 more chance. minutes. Okay, so all total, we've cooked it for 20. What you waiting on, buddy, Lizzie? <laughs> I was waiting on the, my cue. Oh, well, there's your cue. Woo! Man, they look, they look smell so good. Uh -huh. That's great. Wow. Oh, my gosh. Wow. Look, that's some onion that fell off. <laughs> they look great. Wow. In just for 20 minutes. Which you know, to serve with them? Uh, I'm going to bake some sweet potatoes. All right, look at it. Look at it. Lulu, look, look at Lulu. Lulu, Lulu gets gus all in an uproar and they attack the bags. One's at one end and one's at the other. Look at them. Look at them, Eddie. Next. <laughs> It's funny the way Lulu, the girl, just all of a sudden just loves firing up Gus. Like she goes over to him and says, come on, let's start some crap with Max. <laughs> and they do. Okay, so tell me how it is, son. Well, perfect. Hot. Hot and perfect Hot. and delicious. Okay, well that's all you're gonna get because this is gonna be our supper. <laughs> Where are the hotcakes in the mayonnaise? Uh-uh. No, I ain't doing it. Is he not invited for for supper? You're not invited, Father? Not invited. Well, I guess I got to leave. <laughs> I, got to, I got to go eat more pine cones, as Jamie would say. Uh-uh. We say that Bobby and Cloud go out in the yard and get up some grass clippings and pine cones. Because <laughs> so they eat so healthy. Totally You're not going to taste it? I already did. You did not? I did. He didn't taste it, did he, Eddie? I did. You are lying to me. No, you did well, not. Name. <laughs> now you tasted it. Now it's very, very it's good. delicious. So good. It is delicious. Mm. Mm. Delicious. The French onion soup. Mm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. And you don't have to salt or anything because that French onion soup, that dry soup is Salty. Winner, winner, pork chop dinner. And this would be good on a pork tenderloin too, y'all. Real good. It would be. And it would be good with some cream potatoes mm -hmm. and some collard greens and some hoe cake cornbread. So, what are you doing? You, you think you're off? <laughs> I don't remember clocking in. Am I not off? No. Do I got to clean the griddle? Yeah, we got the shoes. <laughs> I got a mop and floors. Dishes to do. <laughs> dishes to do. Uh -huh. No, I've done all the dishes I'm going to do. I got to go home and do my own dishes. I can't get over how good that is. Those are great. Easy peasy. Really, really good. Mm -hmm. All right, it's good to be with y'all. Thank you, son. You're go welcome. I love you. Happy me. I'm happy to do it. Oh, I love you, too. Okay. And I love y'all, too. Sure do. Love and best dishes. Bye, everybody. Hey y'all, it's Paula Dean. Now, if you enjoyed this video, be sure to like it and click the subscribe button as well as the notification bell to be alerted when I post a video. Love and best dishes, y'all.